Welcome to another installment of 5 Minute Tones. Today this is actually going to be less about the tone and more about the functionality on the FM3. I'm going to show you a really easy way to add two extra foot switches and we're going to explore something called stand-in switches on the FM3. At the moment I have my main live preset. It's built around the Boogie Mark IV model, the USA lead. You can see in this preset I've got an input block, a wah, a phaser, an amp, a gate, a cab. I've got parametric EQ, multiband compression, then I've got a multi-tap delay and a delay. It's running at about 61%, so if I wanted to add a reverb, I could do that, but I don't really need reverb live. I mostly use four scenes here, and out of those four scenes, I mostly use three of them anyway. So I have my dry sound, lead sound, and a rhythmic delay sound. I'll give you a very quick example of what they sound like. <laughs> So that's basically what I need to do a ragdoll gig. Every now and then I would love uh, to just be able to kick in the phaser. I don't use it on any of the main scenes, but every now and then you just like a little bit of swoosh on your live presets. Uh, and it would be really cool to be able to stay on this scenes layout and just access the next view, which gives me access to three more scenes. I can keep going through these views. We have four views on each layout. So I could get all eight scenes easily. Uh, if I wanted to, I could have these buttons as tap and hold functions, uh, which I've actually got them set up as at the moment. So I can do that by tapping and hold, but I just want to tap things live. I don't really want to worry too much about remembering which view my particular scene is on. So I would like one of these foot switches to just turn the page on the views and the other one to select the phaser. So first thing, let's go to setup. We'll go to the IO manual and we manual <laughs> menu and we can scroll over to the pedal page. So you can see pedal one is set up as an expression pedal. Pedal two, I've set it to one switch tip. Uh, let's go down here. You can see that the switch settings, I think I've just got these set to follow the hardware. So not too much going on there. It works perfectly fine with this little new X switch, which uh, the cable I've got actually has ring and tip labeled on it. So that's really easy. That's going to a TRS in to jack number two. And then we can go over to our FC controllers page over here and let's come all the way over firstly to the layouts page. So what I want to do is basically on my scenes layout uh, on view number four, I've got a few spare switches. So if I hit enter, you can see over here, you can see that uh, basically the tap function of each switch on each layout. Remember layouts have 12 virtual switches on there. The views let us access all of them. Uh, we can come down here and you can see that uh, conveniently the tap function for switch 11 and switch 12 are unassigned. So let's assign those. I'm going to set this one to be, uh, let's do this effect. I want this to be just effect bypass on the phaser. So I'll go through there until I get to P for phaser. There we go, phaser number one. Uh, value number two, uh, let's just leave that as it is. We don't need to worry too much about that. That's just gonna be simple on and off. Switch number 12, however, I want this to select different views. So we can go through here until we get to view. So what I wanna do is actually scroll through views. So I wanna increment them. So what we'll do is rather than select a particular view, we'll scroll so we get ink slash deck and we'll come over here. We'll make it plus one and we will have that wrap around. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. I can set the limit on that in a second. So what that's gonna do now is just say, hey, if you had a big virtual pedal board, switch 11 and 12 would be assigned to these functions. What I need to do now is say, hey, I don't have that big virtual pedal board. I've got this little cheap foot switch over here. Let's exit out and go over to stand in switches. Ah, and you can see right here, I've already gone through and assigned this. So I was on my scenes layout. So I'm telling the tip function over here that, hey, you are gonna be the substitute. You're gonna be the stand-in for that big virtual pedal board's 11th foot switch. And you are just gonna do this. You're gonna increment the view. And same thing happening over here. I've selected layout number one, which is the scenes layout. And I've set it to basically have that this switch stands in for switch number 12. So let's exit out of this and let's see if this works. Let's press A. Look at that. A is now scrolling through all four 
of my views. I actually only want it to do two, but we'll come back to that in a second. And then let's say go over to scene one. Uh, B is gonna turn my phaser on and off. I'm pretty stoked with that. This switch is just so small and convenient that it's gonna open up those extra scenes for me on this particular scenes layout. What I wanna do though is cap how far it scrolls through. So let's do this. Let's go back to setup. Let's go FC controllers. I don't know why I exited that. I should have hit enter. That's what I wanna do there. And let's go back over to our scenes will come over here and you can see down here, I've got my view increment and decrement. And what I can do now is I can press enter over here. And it's actually gonna give me all the editing functionality for that particular foot switch. So what I need to do here is set the upper limit to two. That means it's just gonna go from my first view to my second view and back. So this is the moment of truth. Let's press foot switch A. Okay, I've gone over to my next three scenes. You know, if I wanna turn on that mega scene, which sounds like this. <laughs> If I press that button again though, it takes me back to my first row of three scenes. So I can access say my dry sound or my lead sound again. Press it again, I've got the second page of scenes, go back. So that's doing what I want. And then I've got an effect assigned over here. Of course you can let this be whatever you want. I just find this for me, which is basically, I need my kind of core sounds and maybe an extra little bit of spice on top with the phaser. I might assign it to something different. I could assign it to be like a per preset effect that, you know, if I want it to be a phaser in one preset and a drive in another preset, I should be able to do that in a fairly straightforward fashion. So that's how I use the FM3 with one of these little outboard two button foot switches. If you have any other questions or you wanna clarify anything, please do not hesitate to ask in the comments. There is no such thing as a stupid question. I'll play you all out with this particular preset. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.